back to my channel. Today is going to be a get ready with me hair and makeup. So this is the final look. If you guys want to see how I achieved this look, keep watching. I've already moisturized my face. I've done my face mask this morning. So now we are just going to prime it. So this is the Hello Body Cocoa Prime Shimmering Face Fluid. It looks like this. So today I kind of want more of a glowy look. I am going to be... Oh my god, this smells like heaven. Um... I am going to be outside a bit, so I like having more of a dewy look. I just find it to be more natural. Okay, so now that we have our primer on, we are going to move on to foundation, and I'm just going to use the Wander Beauty foundation stick, and I am in the shade Golden Medium. That. I'm taking my mini Beauty Blender Damp. It doesn't look like it's damp because it's mini. <laughs> I might actually use a brush today. I'm just gonna buff that out on the top of my eyes. I did just get out of the shower, so that's why my hair looks frizzy and wet. <laughs> okay, so foundation's done. We're gonna move on to concealer, and this is also the Wander Beauty um, Dualist Concealer, and I got the shade light. I like when it's lighter. I like my concealer to be lighter because it adds, it acts also as a highlight and my under eyes definitely do need to be bright because I do have dark circles which I'm not very fond of. And now I'm going to go in with my beauty blender and just blend that out. So majority of these products are from Sephora. If you guys want to get them, that is where I got them. Online, of course. Okay, I think we do a little more coverage under the eyes. That's like the main part that I feel I always need a lot of product because of my dark circles. Okay, perfect. So now we're going to go in with the setting powder, and this is the Il Masca Translucent. So for this powder, I actually just use the pad it comes with. And I just kind of dab the product under my eyes to make sure it doesn't go anywhere. I know it looks hilarious. It's kind of my way of baking. I don't leave it on. For five to ten minutes, I just wipe it off instantly. It's just what I do. And then I also dab it around my nose because that is my most oily area. I know this looks so funny. Okay, so now we're just going to brush that off. And this is just a fluffy brush from Real Techniques. So whatever powder was just left in the lid, I will do the top of my eyelids on to the to bronzer. And for bronzer, I'm going to use my Too Faced bronzer. I'm going to use my Sonia Kashuk number 130 brush. So I'm going to use Milk Lip and Cheek Stick, and this is in the color Work. And I am just going to put this on the apples of my cheeks. And then I will blend it out with my finger. A little bit on my nose. So I like to use my fingers because they are warm and then it helps melt the product into your skin. Then for highlighter, I am just going to use the Catrice Glow and Care. And this is actually a primer, but I like to use it as my highlight. And then 
that is kind of where I put all of the highlight and then I will go in with my finger. I absolutely love this stuff. It's super light, it's super blendable, and it's the perfect shimmer. I love it. All right, so our base is done. Now we are gonna go into shadow. I'm using the Morphe palette, and this is, I think, 9A. Yeah, always golden, 9A. So that is what the inside looks like. I think we are going to use this and this color. So Witness and Ruse. Okay, so we're going to do Witness on... Super pigmented. We're going to do Witness on the lid as our base. Like that. We're going to kind of bring it into the crease. So then we're going to go in with our fluffy brush and add this to the corner, bring it in with the crease, circular motions like that. It's kind of a brown smoky eye. I'm going to brush my brows out. Then I'm going to take an angled brush and we are going to go in with the bruise again, the darker color I used on the corner, and we're gonna use this as eyeliner. So, for underneath, my hair is just everywhere today. The Morphe is super pigmented, so you don't need a lot. And then on the top, just I like to do this kind of messy, if that makes any sense. Okay, so now we're gonna move on to the mascara. So I like to go on top of my lashes as well as under just to um, enhance them. And then also it kind of picks up any of the eyeshadow fallout or any powder you've gotten on your lashes. So, it just helps to make them more bold. And then we're going to go underneath. And then the bottom lash line, just a light coat. Like that. And last but not least, we're going to do lips. So, I have Charlotte Tilbury, and I'm using Iconic Nude. For the liner. For the lipstick, we have Kim KW by Charlotte Tilbury, and it's a pretty light nude. I don't put too much on, I just blend it out. Okay, so that is it for the look, and now we are going to move on to the hair. Okay, so I am going to blow dry the rest of my hair until it's all dry, and then we are going to style it. So I will be right back. Okay, so I blow dried my hair and brushed it out, so it is pretty frizzy because that is what my natural hair looks like when it is brushed out. Um, so for the hair tool we're going to use today, it is the Duval Thermal Styling Brush, and this is what it looks like. It's pretty cool. 
never used it before, but I do really like all of Duval's products, so I feel like this is going to be good. I heated it up to 410. Let's see how this works. I'm just going to section off my hair now. Okay, so we'll just do section by section. I know I look hilarious. Okay, so it is at 410. I'm not sure how this is going to work, but... Wow, that was really, that was really cool. Yeah, I think curving it is the best way to take all the frizz out. Look how cool that is. That's adorable. Okay, so I'm just gonna speed through this now since you guys kind of see how it works and I'll show you guys the end result. <laughs> Okay, so this is what the hair looks like from this Duval Thermal Styling Brush. Really cool. I even like the way it looks too. Like it's pretty sleek and small, so it'd be great for travel. Sorry, my hair is still in it. I lose a lot of hair. But yeah, it's like kind of, kind of blowouty, kind of waved really bouncy. I love it. And it didn't take me too long. So yeah, this is what it looks like. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope you guys enjoyed getting ready with me. All the products I used in this video will be linked below. Make sure to follow my socials, hit that subscribe button and that notification bell to get notified every time I upload a new video. And I will see you guys in my next one.